if you're new here, please make sure you subscribe because I am on the road to 150 subs and I make NBA content like this 2K and live every single day. Alright, so welcome to a different type of video. In this video, we are actually going to be predicting the NBA playoffs. By the time you're seeing this video, the playoffs will be starting today. It should be on 2.30, net Sixers. So I'm going to go through, this is the NBA playoff um, bracket challenge. I am going to be going through the bracket and predicting who I think will win each game, series, all that. So we're going to start off in the West, probably the easiest. We got the Warriors and Clippers. I'm obviously going Warriors. But the Clippers, their sleeper team, I think they have one game off of Golden State. I, th I think they get one game. I think Golden State has that off game. There's a very good chance they sweep, but I think Golden State will have that off game. And Lou Williams will drop them like 30 plus. Rockets, Jazz, this is going to be a good series. This is really going to be good. Um, it's all best offensive team in the league. Best defensive team in the league, in my opinion. Now, I think the Bucks actually statistically are the best offense, but I'm going Rockets in this one. I'm going Rockets in six, not seven, six. Because I don't think the Jazz have enough firepower to basically stop James Harden, Chris Paul, and see, um, Chris, uh, not Chris Paul again, um, Clint Capella. If Chris Paul can stay healthy and play like he usually does, that's going to be a very good series. Now, one of the series I'm most excited for, Portland, OKC. But the thing that sucks is Nurkic is injured. I think if Nurkic wasn't injured, I think the Blazers could pull out, uh, I think they could beat the Thunder barely in seven. So like I said, OKC, I have it six. I, had, I signed in and I showed my actual bracket I did earlier. So I just reset it and put what I had. This series, ooh, this is gonna be a good series in my opinion. Spurs, Nuggets. Two very similar teams, in my opinion. Very similar teams, very similar play styles. And this is hard, but I got... Oops, I accidentally clicked the wrong thing. Nope, I don't want to see the stats. I got I got the Nuggets in seven. Nuggets in seven. I think the Spurs could pull out an upset, to be honest with you. I know I'm sleeping on the Nuggets with this, but I legit think... This, if DeMar does not choke like he usually does in the playoffs, he doesn't have LeBron to worry about, I legit think the Spurs could pull out an upset. And if they do pull an upset, I think they could go to the conference finals, but let's not go that far. We'll go to the East now. This, I don't think Blake is going to be healthy for the first like first two or three games. But I think Detroit gets one game off of Milwaukee. One game. If Blake plays, he drops near 50. I think they get one game. So that's not much to say in that series. Boston, Indiana. The fact that Indiana has played so well without Oladipo, I got Boston in six. The fact that they played so well without Oladipo is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. But I do have Boston in six. I do think playoff Kyrie. I think Tatum, Kyrie, Jayla Brown, they're all, and maybe Gordon Hayward, they're going to go off. And I think they're going to go off all playoff long. Nets, six, uh, Nets, Sixers, yeah. This series, whew, this is going to be good because Embiid, is not going to be healthy, I don't think, for game one. He might not be healthy. This reminds me of Heat um, Sixers last year. Everyone was hyped. Everyone was saying, oh, the Heat or the Nets could upset the Sixers. I don't see it happening. I don't I don't see it happening. I got the Sixers in like six, maybe five. I really don't see it happening. Just like the Heat last year, they don't have much experience at all. The Heat only had Dwayne Wade last year had and Goran Dragic for experience, but... Not enough, and the Sixers just, I think they have too much talent. This, this is very easy. This is sweep. Sweep. Raptors are sweeping the Magic. I know the Magic, Vucevic is very good. They got Aaron Gordon. Terrence Ross has been playing good. It's, it's a clean sweep. It's, I don't think the Magic get a game on the Raptors. So this sets us up with Golden State Houston semifinals. Not conference, semifinals. Oh boy, this is good. This, I'm... I'm going Golden State. I'm going in seven. Golden State in seven. Yep. I think this is going to be a very, very close series. Very close. If CP3 actually performs like he did, I got, I got Golden State in seven, like last year. The Houston Rockets only lost by like six in Game Seven without CP3. And if two of those threes, two of those 27 threes they missed, it will went to overtime, and they could have possibly won. Then we got Nuggets. OKC. Oh boy, I'd love to see this in real life. This I consider this a rivalry right here. 
two years ago, Westbrook, he knocked off Denver from playoffs. He had a game winner, get the 40-second triple-double, knocked him out of playoff contention. The year after that, um, who was it, Gary Harris, ended up hitting a game winner in OKC, I think it was. And that didn't knock him out of playoff contention, but it did hurt him, so. Then this year, I forgot who, I think Jamal Murray hit a game winner against OKC. So that's three straight game winners. But I do see the experience of Paul George, Westbrook, and the Thunder team showing out, and I got the Thunder in six. I think the Denver Nuggets, they're going to be worn out from this um, San Antonio series. There's not enough experience on that Thund um, Nuggets team besides Millsap. So I do got the Thunder going to the conference finals. I would love to. They don't have a hard road at all. The Thunder, this is setting up for them to go to the conference finals against the Warriors. They got a uh, injured Portland team that could put up a fight, but I don't think good enough. And Denver or San Antonio, they can do it. If Paul George plays like he did and Westbrook makes his shots, they can go to the conference finals. I think so. Okay, going to the East, Bucks, Celtics. Now this, oh boy, I want I want to believe in the Bucks. I want the Bucks to go all the way to the finals. I want them to. I want Giannis to prove himself, but Kyrie Irving's too good. Oops, the Celtics seems too good. I got Celtics in seven. Well, yeah, seven seven game series. They got the Celtics. It's just too good. It's kind of like LeBron last year with the Cavs. They may not have been good during the regular season, but it it was LeBron. He of course he was going all the way. This year, that Celtics team is too stacked. They they're just too stacked. They're gonna make it. They're gonna make it to the conference finals. Sixers Raptors. To me, this is a no-brainer. Toronto. This is a no-brainer to me. I got Toronto in six. The reason for that is I don't think this Sixers team is going... I, I'm not sure if they're going to gel enough to make a deep playoff run. I don't think they can. And just the Raptors, how deep the Raptors are and how good Kawhi Leonard is, it all depends on Kyle Lowry, though. If he doesn't perform in these playoffs... Like he has past years, how he's just choked year after year. The Raptors may not go all the way, but you gotta remember, Kawhi Leonard, when he was on the Spurs, one of his last games on the Spurs, in the conference finals, almost had the Spurs beat the Warriors in game one. Single handedly. Single handedly. He had LaMarcus Aldridge, obviously, but I think Toronto, he has a better supporting cast. And if he doesn't get to the conference finals, I think he definitely leaves. And this leaves us with Warriors, OKC, Western Conference Finals, Boston, Toronto East. Boy, this is going to be, this is interesting. Obviously, as much as I love to see the Thunder go to the finals, there's no way in the hell they're beating the, there's no way. I got the Warriors in six, possibly five. I just don't, I don't think this Thunder team is good enough to beat the Warriors. They're not deep enough. Their bench isn't that great. It's just not good enough. I'm sorry. I want OKC to win. But I got them losing in six. And we got Boston, Toronto. My gut, all year long, has been telling me. My heart has been telling me. I'm not, I don't like the Raptors. I'm going to tell you that right now. What they did to my Heat a couple years ago. We were one game away from the conference finals. But the Raptors, man. I think they're going to put... I think they're going to the finals. First time ever. They're going seven games against the Celtics. I think Kawhi Leonard will lead this team to the finals and try and get his revenge on the Warriors. But that leaves us with finals Warriors, Raptors. And to this is going to be a close series. It's a no-brainer. Warriors in six. Warriors in six. I don't care about this. Go away. And for the tiebreaker, I'll just put eight points. This is my bracket. This is it. We got, I think this is pretty realistic. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. This is pretty realistic. I, I like, I think this is good. The only sweep happening though, I think, is Raptors Orlando. I think that's the only sweep that will happen. Besides, I think the Golden State has a chance to sweep. I don't think they will. But I think the only sweep will be Toronto Orlando. Milwaukee could possibly sweep. I just don't think they will. So, that's my bracket. Um, if you disagree, I don't care. Thank you.